everybody, I'm Beth, and I'm excited to have you here with me today to show you a great $5, less than $5 dupe for this $50 Charlotte Tilbury Brightening Powder. And I just got this in the mail, and I was kind of surprised by how very bright it does look. Look at that, that is about the brightest powder known to man. And according to its box here, here are the things that it promises for its 48 whopping bucks is brightening, blurring, lifting effect, a brightening, blurring, lifting effect, and also it targets dark circles and shadows. And I have deliberately not applied any powder because I want to do a test of this Charlotte Tilbury brightening powder against my dupe. And here is my dupe, da 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 da. It is the Essence Brighten Up Powder. And I have used this for probably two years, absolutely love it. And quite honestly, when I ordered the Charlotte Tilbury version, I thought with this being so good at about $4.99, this must just be phenomenal. And I'm going to go ahead and do a test for you today so you can look at both products and see if you agree that this is a great dupe for this or if you think this is better, this is better, whatever. But before we get into that, I did want to show you the outfit that I'm wearing today. And here it is. It's just a navy spring weight sweater with some brass buttons. And I have some really good French designer jewelry on that I'm really enjoying. This is the Kareen Sultan jewelry. She's been a designer in Paris for a long time. She's just come to Los Angeles, I think, in this country. Her jewelry is shown at Nordstrom and other high-end retailers. Paris. Okay, let's go ahead and do a comparison, and I'm going to be putting the Charlotte Tilbury product on this side and the Essence Brighten Up on this side. So I'll go ahead and dip into that a little bit. Here we go. Here's a nice little highlighter brush. And so I'll go in here, and as you can tell, I've got a little dark circle there. And we'll just go ahead and do that. And it does brighten up, which is very nice. Then I'll go ahead and add some basically in my T-zone on this side of my face. And it is having a blurring effect, I would say. I'll go ahead and do some on the chin here. And where I like to use this powder is pretty much all in the T-zone. Let's go ahead and do the forehead here. A Little bit on the bridge of the nose there. Hit the eye again, okay. And as you can see, that is brighter looking and I think it did blur out some, which is very, very nice. Okay, now let's go in. I'll Tamp off the brush here. Next, let's go in with the Essence Brighten Up. And one thing you have to remember on these less expensive products is to not buy into the marketing hype and to think, oh, that's not very expensive packaging, so it can't be good. Okay, let's go ahead and dip into this and I'll use this one, the Essence on this side. And as you can see, I do have a dark circle there. There we go. Ooh, that's nice and brightening. I really like that. I'll go ahead and stay in the T-zone here, get the nasal fold. Get this side of my, my chin down here. Now let's go up and we'll get that side of the forehead. Okay, okay, let's go ahead and do a comparison of the two sides. This is the Essence side and look at that and tell me in the comments if you think the Essence wins or if you think the Charlotte Tilbury wins. And when I am looking at it, I think that the under eye area looks better on the Essence side. I think the overall brightness is better on this side of my face. I even think that in terms of a blurring effect that the Essence beats the Charlotte Tilbury. But let me know in the comment section if you agree with me, disagree with me, which one you think is better. Well, I personally think that the Essence side is better and certainly it's a dupe for Charlotte Tilbury, no doubt about that. But I'm going to go ahead to make the two sides match and I'm going to go ahead and just put some brightener under here of the Essence, go down there, go across there, go ahead and go across the forehead. Well, that is the Essence on both sides, and I really think that the Essence is a good dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury, if not even better. Okay, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day, and I'm not reading from any cards right now. Actually, I'm going to link a video below, something that I saw this morning, and it is an excellent video on comparison. That is that comparing ourselves with others is a way to unhappiness, and I think that is absolutely so true. And in the video, it makes the point that we are the biggest social media generation ever. And that in many cases, instead of calling someone or texting someone, we're on social media, looking at their lives through the glossy pages of Facebook or Instagram. And as a social media person myself, 
I can tell you that all of those images over there are not real. They are airbrushed images of airbrushed fake lives. And by fake lives, I mean that when you're shown a Facebook picture from someone, they are showing the absolute high points of their life. They're showing the happiest family times, the great vacations they took, the wonderful meals they're eating, the great wines they're drinking, whatever makes them look the absolute best. It's an airbrushed look at life. And it really is true that when we compare their outsides with their insides, there's no way that we can't be lacking because lives are not perfect. They are not always at the high points. Lives are up and down and all around. And that video made the point that first we need to understand the bias of social media and that it is designed to make them look better than we are. And second, that we should not compare ourselves with others. We should compare ourselves today with ourselves yesterday. And I mentioned this in another thought for the day in an earlier video, but basically a good thing to do is to determine one or two areas that you'd like to improve on and then make little incremental changes every single day to get to your goal. And what I've been working on is that, you know, sometimes you'll be involved in a conversation and a negative idea about someone will come up. And what I have been trying to do for the last two weeks is to stop those thoughts and ask myself the question, would I say that if this person were right in the room with me? And if the answer is no, I do my best not to say anything at all. And I will say that two weeks ago when I started this, it was kind of hard to do. I really had to like hold myself back like wild horses not to give that negative juicy tidbit that I wanted to add. But recently I've noticed that it's kind of like a muscle. The more you use it, the better at it you get. And now when I start to think of something negative to say, I say, hmm, you know, would I say that if they were here? And if the answer is no, I just shut up. So friends, as we're going through our day today, let's try to remember not to compare ourselves to the fake pictures of others, but to compare the reality of where we are today versus yesterday. And hopefully we're a bit further along. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.